Hello everyone, my name is Janine Jenkins. I want to just give you some quick uh, joining uh, with IQ basics. Basically how it works is you go to the site www.wizIQ.com as you see in the address bar here as I got highlighted. After you type in here you will get this information and one of the things you can do is um, you can uh, join for free. Um, you will put in your name, your email, password, and you will put in this information and click on join now. Now, uh, in, somewhere in there, it will prompt you as you can set up as a student or you can set up as a teacher. Uh, um, so either one is really nice. Um, the One of the catch 22s um, is as a student, if you set up as a student, you're only, you will be limited to just only uh, joining classes. You won't be able to host sessions if you desire to. And here's the information down below. If you need more information, just scroll down. Uh, it'll tell you basically where my arrows, my arrow has turned into hands. That means you can click on these features. You can also view the tutorials um, that gives you an idea of what options you have available as a student and what option you have available as teachers, which you can do. And also feel free to look at the tour. Go through a tour to kind of familiarize yourself with what I Q. Now, once you sign up and everything, uh, one of the beautiful things is you can also find me on Was I Q. So a lot of times I may host sessions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when you sign in. So once I sign in, first I'm going to sign out. And let's say I've created an account. Anytime I want to sign in, I click on sign in. Now I am a teacher and I... Have, I'm a premium member because I paid the $50 a year allows you to uh, use more features than what you can use in the free account which we can get on get into um, at a later date but I just want to give you an idea of how you can go about uh, you browse to these different things where it says home and learn if you want to find a teacher if you need to find me you can that way uh, request for a teacher. You can also send a request. Uh, contact suggested teachers. Attend online classes. So anytime you want to attend a free class online, just click on classes and you will see the various things that's going on here. So a lot of times it will say the word free, like you see here. Um, a lot of times there it will let you know if the class is not free. It may say five or ten dollars here. Uh, someone is teaching a class, so which is six dollars. So, um, in order to join that class, you will have to pay, and it will prompt you to pay, uh, uh, which is also uh, another thing about WizIQ. Um, another thing about WizIQ, if you are in teacher mode, you have the luxury of uploading content, creating tests. You can even join a community, which is really nice. Um, and the other things are um, you get to uh, set up your profile here, uh, tell more about yourself. Um, you can also view some of the classes that you've also attended. So the nice thing about these classes are when you host sessions yourself or someone hosts sessions, you can view it. You can look at the past classes. Here it just shows you some of the past classes I have been in. So anytime I want to review or look at a class again, I can do so. You can click on View Recording, which allows you to review at your leisure, which is really nice. So here are some WizIQ basics, and uh, stand, stand by for Part 2 of WizIQ basics.